How diet and exercise may help manage uterine fibroids. What exactly are fibroids? Fibroids are uterine tumors that develop. Typically, they are benign or non-cancerous. Although fibroids don't always show symptoms, when they do, your quality of life may be impacted. You might encounter a liable source. Severe bleeding during the period. Anemia, iron deficiency, brought caused by blood loss. Between periods bleeding. Suffering during sex. The lower back hurts. Genital pressure. Difficulties with reproduction, such as infertility and early labor. The dangers of fibroid growth. There are a few things that could make you more likely to develop uterine fibroids. Among them is trusted source. Being older than 40. Being at least 10 years old when you first got your period. Having a history of fibroids in the family. Being overweight. An elevated blood pressure. Never having given birth. Consuming additives in food. Being lacking in vitamin D. Uterine fibroids may be more common among persons of African heritage, according to research, although it's not clear why. Uterine fibroids can be prevented by pregnancy and long-term contraceptive use. How nutrition can affect health. A few significant connections between nutrition and uterine fibroids have been discovered by research. For instance, a deficiency in vitamin D and an inadequate intake of fruits and vegetables can raise your risk. Your chance of developing fibroid tumors can be reduced and a healthy weight may be encouraged by cutting back on some foods and introducing others to your diet. Food items. You may be protected against fibroids by eating the following foods. Fruits. Veggies. Nutrients D. Greasy fish, salmon, tuna, mackerel. Pale meats, chicken, turkey. Beans, soy. Beans and fava. Green leafy plants. Apples. Tangerines. Oranges. Veggie juice. Natural fruit juice. Emerald tea. Noxious foods. You can lower your risk of developing fibroid by cutting out or consuming less of the following foods. A red meat, beef, ham, lamb, potatoes, rice, chips, alcohol, high sugar beverages, chocolates and candies. In light of your unique health profile, you can talk to your doctor about other foods that might not be good for you. The benefits of exercising. Numerous uterine fibroids risk factors, such as your age and family history, are outside of your control. You can take a variety of actions to reduce your risk. Obesity is a known risk factor for the formation of uterine fibroids, although exercise can also serve as a preventative measure. Physical activity, food, and weight fluctuation were listed as potentially modifiable risk factors for uterine fibroid in a 2018 study. 2015 research. According to trusted source, exercise has other benefits than weight loss, including a reduction in sex hormone levels in the body. The 2018 article claims that fibroids rely on the same types of sex hormones. Starting an exercise regimen, even if weight loss is not shown right away.